learn how to use this vernier caliper or slide caliper to measure the dimension of a given object dimension means we can measure the length of an object or if our object is of cylindrical shape we can measure the diameter of that object we can also measure the inner diameter of that object not only that we can measure the depth of this object also so before going through in details about the measurement let's take a close look of our instrument in this instrument this portion is known as the upper jaw this is known as the lower jaw even at this end there is a tail how can we find out this tail if we move this slider little bit you can see tail is coming out right so even when we move this slider there this jaws will also open okay now what we need to know at the beginning of any measurement first we have to make close this jaws and at that time you will observe there are two different types of scale inside which is in centimeter and this is known as the main scale and you will find two major dimension or major grid lines are of 1 cm and in between two major grid lines there are small divisions and these small divisions are of 0.1 cm because in between two major lines there are 10 divisions so each division is of 0.1 cm if you observe carefully you will also find there are another type of division at that portion of our instrument and this division are known as the vernier division or from there we can find out the vernier reading so at the beginning when your jaws are closed properly you should check the zero error of your instrument what it means if you find that the beginning division of your vernier scale is coincide with the zero of your main scale then we can say there is no error but if your vernier reading is little bit left from this zero reading we can say there is a negative error and if it is little bit right then we can say this there is a positive error but in this instrument there is no error we can see that the beginning division of vernier reading coincide with the zero reading of your main scale reading okay now another thing you can notice that here the 10 division of the vernier reading coincide with the 9 division of the main scale reading and from there we will find out the least count or we can say vernier constant of this instrument because from the vernier constant we can make our result much more accurate okay so let's see its formula to measure any length or any dimension using this instrument so here you can find that the dimension of an object is the main scale reading plus vernier scale reading right as we have seen main scale reading means the reading from this centimeter scale so it is very easy to found out and what is the vernier scale reading because here in the vernier scale we have found out there are some divisions but it is not in centimeter right now so we have to find out what is the value of each division in centimeter and this will be the vernier scale reading so first vernier reading and we have to find out the vernier constant so first we will learn how to find out the vernier constant then we will learn how to find out the vernier scale reading so what is the vernier constant it is defined as one main scale reading minus one vernier scale reading so what is the one main scale reading it means the smallest division in the main scale what we have seen in this 1 cm 0 to 1 there are 10 division so one smallest division is 0.1 cm so one main scale reading is 0.1 cm but what is the one vernier scale reading that means what is the length 
of this one smallest division in the vernier scale so to find out that one we will use this relation what we have seen there are 10 vernier scale division is exactly matched with 9 smain scale division is not it here that is the 10 vernier scale division is coincide with the 9 smain scale division division so what about the one vernier scale division it is 9 by 10 main scale division but what we know about the one smell main scale division one smell scale division is 0.1 centimeter so 9 by 10 main scale division means 9 by 10 into 0 0.1 centimeter so what is it it is the one vernier scale reading that means the division of one vernier distance is 9 by 10 into 0 0.1 centimeter so now here we will use that one vernier scale reading is 9 by 10 into 0 0.01 centimeter sorry this will be 0 0.1 centimeter this is 0 0.1 centimeter right so it becomes 1 minus 9 by 10 into 0 0.1 centimeter so it is 0 0.1 centimeter divided by 10 so now vernier constant is 0 0.1 centimeter divided by 10 we can see directly that 0 0.1 centimeter is one main, main scale division so we can write here one main scale division and what is the 10 10 is the total division of the vernier scale so we can directly also use this formula to find out the vernier constant of the slide calipers that is one main scale reading divided by total vernier scale total division in the vernier scale so now what is our vernier's constant it is 0 0.01 centimeter now let's move to the measurement of the object okay so move to the second part for that we have made this table there is a main scale reading vernier reading vernier scale reading and the measured value actual value of our of the dimension okay so now so for example let's take this cylindrical object and we want to measure out first its outer diameter and for that we will use this slide caliper now i am moving this uh, slider to open the jaws and we will stop at the proper opening where it is tightly fitted with the object okay and now we will try to measure out we can even take back the object and we will focus about its main scale reading so how to take the main scale reading let's see it to take the main scale reading first observe where is the beginning line or initial line in the vernier scale so it is the initial line and then try to find out which line of the main scale is coincident with the vernier initial line so here we will find this one and what is the value of that one it is 5 it is 5.1 so 5.1 is the main scale reading for that diameter so let's write down this one so we can write the main scale reading as 5.1 okay now what is the vernier reading so to find out that one we have to check which division in the vernier scale well fitted with the any division of the linear scale or main scale so let's check it so this one it is very nearly coincident with that any line but uh, this is not properly coincident so second third so in my opinion this the third division of the vernier scale best fitted with this line of the main scale so we have to count which division of the vernier scale 
fitted with any line of the main scale okay so we have to care or we have to count only the number so here one two three so third division is fitted with the main scale right so our vernier reading will be three so here we will write the vernier reading is three so now what is the vernier scale reading then so vernier scale reading is vernier reading which is three and we have seen the vernier constant as 0 0.01 centimeter so it is 3 into 0 0.01 centimeter so it is 0 0.03 so now the diameter of our object becomes mean scale reading which was 5.1 centimeter plus vernier scale reading which we have found out 0 0.03 centimeter so this value will be in centimeter so it is 5.1 one three centimeter so using the slide calipers more accurately we can measure the diameter of that object similarly we can take three to five different measurements and at last we can take the average of that diameter and which gives you accurate or we can say almost accurate measurement of the diameter of our object right so this is the simple way to use the slide calipers or vernier calipers similarly using this upper jaw we can place properly inside this object and we can measure the inner diameter also okay so this is properly fitted with the inside of the object now we will check the main scale reading and vernier reading so similarly we can check the main scale reading here we can five find out that it is almost the initial of the vernier reading is matched with the five so main scale reading is five so here we can write for inner inside of the object so it is 5.0 main scale reading and let's check which vernier reading fitted with the main scale reading so we can see this is one two 3, 4, 5, 6. I can found 6. Right? So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, sorry, 5. 5 is uh, almost fitted with uh, this fifth line. So, we can write that the Vernier reading here is 5. Hence, the Vernier scale reading becomes 5 into 0 0.01. So, this is uh, 0 0.05 so the inner radius or sorry inner diameter is equal to 5.0 plus 0 0.05 or we can say it is 5.05 centimeter right so i think you have understood so let's uh, uh, do yourself and we will again back with uh, another instrument which is known as the screw gauge in the next video.